In the early 2010s, after the space shuttle program ended, NASA began developing a new rocket called the Space Launch System. This rocket was meant to be NASA's main vehicle for missions to deep space, such as to the Moon and Mars. NASA selected Boeing to help build the main booster and the upper stage of this rocket. At that time, choosing Boeing seemed like the right decision, as they had been involved in many successful space missions before. But over the years, it became evident that relying on an older company using older technology wasn't the best choice for creating a modern rocket. Today, more than a decade later, it's clear that this decision has resulted in significant problems. The SLS project has faced serious challenges, and it's becoming questionable whether NASA should continue working with Boeing for future projects. If Boeing were to step back, the big question is, who could take over? The first SLS rocket was launched in November 2022 during the Artemis 1 mission. This mission cost over $23 billion, and more than $11 billion of that was spent on the SLS itself. Despite the enormous expenses, NASA still plans to use the SLS for future Artemis missions. One of these missions, Artemis 4, is scheduled for 2028 and will use an upgraded version of the SLS called Block 1B, which Boeing is still building. However, recent problems have raised doubts about whether Boeing can complete this work on time and stay within the budget. On August 8, 2023, NASA released a report on Boeing's progress with the SLS. This report revealed serious concerns about the quality of work and rising costs. One major issue involved a liquid oxygen fuel tank dome, a crucial part of the rocket. Inspectors discovered that this dome did not meet NASA's welding standards. The report pointed out that many of Boeing's problems are due to a shortage of skilled workers. Many experienced employees have left to join newer aerospace companies that offer better pay, and Boeing has struggled to train new workers to meet NASA's high standards. From September 2021 to August 2023, the Defense Contract Management Agency issued 71 corrective action requests to Boeing, which are official notices to fix problems. Boeing's troubles aren't limited to the SLS program. They've also had a tough time with their Starliner spacecraft, which was meant to carry astronauts to the International Space Station as part of NASA's commercial crew program. Boeing's Starliner has been delayed multiple times due to numerous issues, which have made many question whether Boeing can deliver anything reliable. For instance, in June 2023, Boeing announced further delays to the launch of Starliner's crew flight test due to two new problems. The first issue was a fault in the parachute system. Boeing discovered that the soft links in the parachutes, which are cloth-like materials that connect the parachutes to the spacecraft, failed under stress at a much lower level than expected. This posed a significant risk because, in the event that one parachute went out during descent, the remaining parachutes might not be strong enough to prevent the spacecraft from crashing. This issue means that Boeing now has to redesign and test the parachute system before it can launch the Starliner with NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams on board. The second issue involved flammable tapes used throughout Starliner's wiring. This tape is present all over the spacecraft, and under certain conditions it could catch fire, posing a severe safety risk. Removing this tape isn't easy and it means Boeing may have to redo a large portion of the wiring, which further delays the launch. These two issues were discovered just before the Starliner was supposed to be fueled for its propulsion system. Boeing's manager for the commercial crew program admitted that they couldn't resolve these problems in time and delayed the launch of Starliner. He said there is still hope to launch it within the year, but no firm date was given. To make matters worse, the cost of developing the exploration upper stage of the SLS has risen dramatically. From an initial estimate of $962 million in 2017 to nearly $2.8 billion expected by 2028. Boeing's delivery of this stage has been delayed from February 2021 to April 2027, and there are concerns that more delays could affect the timeline for the Artemis IV mission. While Boeing has struggled with every project it's been involved in recently, SpaceX has been making history with one revolutionary mission after another.
In 2021, SpaceX completed 31 launches, but they nearly doubled that record in 2022 with 61 launches, averaging one launch every six days. This was a record-breaking year for SpaceX, making the Falcon 9 the most launched rocket of its kind in a single year. About 34 of these launches were devoted to building out their Starlink satellite network, while the rest served various customers, including NASA, for whom they launched four missions to the International Space Station, two crewed and two cargo missions, using their Dragon capsule and Falcon 9 rocket. 2023 was even more impressive, with SpaceX completing 98 total launches by the end of the year, including delivering over 2,000 Starlink satellites into orbit. The company improved its launch efficiency, making significant upgrades to the Falcon 9 and conducting more crewed missions. In 2023 alone, SpaceX sent 12 astronauts to the ISS and returned them safely, including their Crew-6, Axiom-2, and Crew-7 missions. They are also set to potentially conduct four more crewed missions in 2024. In comparison, Boeing's Starliner program has faced many setbacks. Both Boeing and SpaceX were awarded contracts under NASA's Commercial Crew Program to transport astronauts to the ISS. Despite Boeing receiving a larger contract, totaling $4.2 billion compared to SpaceX's initial $2.6 billion, SpaceX managed to finish their crewed missions much earlier. While SpaceX has already completed multiple crewed missions, including operational flights since 2020, Boeing struggled with Starliner's development, facing significant issues like propulsion system problems and delays. As of now, Boeing has yet to complete a single crewed mission with Starliner, while SpaceX has already completed several. Furthermore, SpaceX is readying for the next Starship launch, having conducted two test flights in 2023. They are preparing for another flight in early 2024, awaiting regulatory approvals. This contrast between SpaceX's rapid progress and Boeing's ongoing struggles highlights SpaceX's role as the clear leader in modern space exploration. Now, we've got a little surprise for you. We've put together limited edition, highly realistic Starship models available exclusively on eBay for our loyal viewers. If you've watched this far, it means you're truly dedicated to all things space, and we want to reward that loyalty. So don't wait. Click the link in the description below and grab your Starship model before they run out. This is your chance to own a piece of the future. Hurry before they're all gone. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.